you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Ah! Ah! Oh, you psycho! Uh, no, you can do whatever you want to me. But Lady Arkham's plans are already in motion. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham. You're done, boy! Give up your badge and we'll let you live! Meanwhile, his opponents are routinely silenced. The latest to speak out is Police Commissioner Grogan. He called Dent a murderer and a terrorist, and demanded his immediate resignation. In response, Dent's enforcers attempted to arrest Grogan, sparking violence inside the precinct. These are dark days in Gotham. Our mayor promised us a better city, but delivers only more violence. How long do we let this two-faced stay in power? How long can we... Hey, you can't be in here. Hey, you can't do this! Hey, let me go! Hey, hey, stop! Time's up! You should have known better, Gordon. Now we nail you turn to the precinct door by order of City Hall. Just try me. You punks. Dent's lost his goddamn mind. His enforcers have overrun the city. Apparently, our new mayor doesn't care much for dissent. He's ordered a purge of every honest cop we have left. Which isn't many. Dent is a maniac. And he needs to be stopped before he tears this city apart. Yeah, don't let me get in your way. Come on. The commissioner's still down there. Oh. Sure you're up for this? I have to be! Follow my lead. The 
the commission. They can't hold out much longer. Bruce Wayne. Otherwise, he'll just keep killing people. Perhaps going as Bruce could be an advantage. Even without the suit, you're a formidable opponent. I know the old Harvey is still in there somewhere. If anyone can reach him, it's you. I'll be standing by if you need me. It's time to end this, Harvey. Once and for all. safer Gotham. A Gotham where working people can raise their families. No fear of being robbed or stabbed or, or worse. I just... I know I can make the city better. If only I could... Okay, I'll back you. <laughs> Come on, Bruce. That joke is in poor taste. I'm serious, Harvey. I'll fund your campaign completely. I've lived in Gotham my whole life, and I've never seen an official I can believe in. Tell you. Oh, thank you, Bruce. I, I, I promise I will not let you down. Mm -mm, never even crossed my mind. The only real question is this election or next. We'll let the coin decide. <laughs> Lucky. But someone has to die. Are you volunteering, Deborah? Harvey! Wayne! About damn time! Snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. 
I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. Why do you actually grow a backbone? I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead! That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. Wait. What am I saying? I'm trying to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. And now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. Until what happened with Selina. This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! And cops who don't take their mayor's orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! No, please! This is what happens to people who cross me, Wayne. You were the fiercest DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go, get away. I wouldn't let them all go, but... It's not up to me. Deborah, my not so faithful assistant. You've been feeding my enemies info since the start! <laughs> I swear Beg I. Beg all you want, but it's not up to me. Your life, his life, even my life. They all hinge on chance. <laughs> I didn't do it. You're weak, Harvey. Letting a coin make your decisions. It's not weakness, Wayne. It's strength. To accept there's something bigger than me. Bigger than any of us. It's your lucky day, Deborah. Now, Bruce! Stay back! Oh, God, please don't. Harvey. Get it started! This is the only way to keep people in line! Harvey, no! This is not who you are! You once said you wanted a better Gotham. Is this what you had in mind? Oh, I wanted so much for this city, Bruce, but I failed. We were good friends once, Bruce. I'm glad you're here. At the end. Maybe you could remember me the way I was before. Before him. Bruce, I need... I need the result! Drop the damn coin! Without the coin, I can't... I, I can't... Make your own call. Bruce, please, I don't know what to... I can't decide. It's too much. It's too much. I can't. A safer Gotham, Harvey. Just like you want it. It's all over for me. You should have let me pull the trigger. Done me and all of Gotham a favor. It's what I deserve. I still have hope for you, Harvey. You'll have the best doctors. Yeah. Sure, Bruce. They can't stop him. No one can stop him.
Mr. Wayne. I... I owe you so much. You're a hero. And I'm gonna make sure all of Gotham knows it. You should be rotting in Arkham! Lady Arkham hasn't forgotten you. Everything you love will burn. tea and the entire pantry I'm afraid didn't survive the fire this is from my own personal supply thanks Alfred we're not the only ones that took a hit while Mayor Dent was in power well at least you've ensured Harvey won't be hurting anyone else Bruce these Last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. N not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down. Even those whom you admire. Well, not all people. You've never disappointed me, Alfred. But I have. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. I told you I wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas, none of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham, Oswald, even Harvey. I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. I... Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises and see exactly what Oswald was doing during his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move.
Your administrative access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor hasn't changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oh, Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... sociology? And my medical records. There are some... well, but... colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah. Oh, <laughs> that's better. No surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Vicky Vale, mid-30s, reporter for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record, her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here, in the manor, she gave nothing away of her true nature then. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Not unlike Batman. I just need to find her. The Gazette's records are the articles written by Vicky Vale. The 
this record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. The Children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist activity. They formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Now that we know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There. No more holes. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick. And who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father? Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, posts to conspiracy forums. All to find... It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD Headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's... one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. <sighs> she stole from you? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happened. I'm going to get some answers from Selina. Expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least. Clearly, my ride needs a tune up. You should know by now not to underestimate me. I thought you might be busy with, I don't know, saving the world. I'm flattered I rank so highly. But I know you're not here for me, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. Thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. I know you're just playing into my pride. But you're right. I don't need a crutch. <laughs> oh, come on. 
Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman. Scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. So it was all just an act. Everything we've done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more... meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. I can't just turn my back and walk away when things get tough. I guess I'm not like you, Selena. No. You really aren't. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. What do you think? But because we had a sleepover, we're best friends. Is that what you really thought? It was a mistake. Well, that's right. A man like you doesn't need friends. Then this should be easy for you to understand. You are just a job. A frustrating, if sometimes entertaining, job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You fought by my side. And together we saved a lot of lives. We're a good team, Selena. You had to know that wouldn't last. But it was nice. While it did. You know... After I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But... You just keep on surprising me. It's been fun. You stay out of trouble. Because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. I look forward to our next dance. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! Alfred! Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. 
I'm on my way. We're gonna find him, Bruce. I know. Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. What did they do to you, Alfred? Ash everywhere. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end of sap, swaying blood across the pool table. couldn't have made that crack. These weren't scattered by the same event. The poker couldn't have made that crack.
Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her staff to try and stop Alfred. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off Lady Arkham. But she knocked it aside. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads, then stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor, used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path, throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Password Reckoning. You have no idea. Alfred is paying for the things my family has done. I'm responsible for this. All right. Well, then let's get to work. Alfred keeps adjusting his glasses. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. He knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Okay, Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. 
the stairs leading up, cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. Rogers Plumbing. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Nothing else to see here. Moving on. The Mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stone Masons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Lady Arkham. Keep searching. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. They're by a bus stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Filtering for all homes built on that date. I can get the bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. Well, just in case she's expecting you. What is that? Something I almost didn't get to finish because of Penguin. It's the most advanced version yet. <laughs> Lady Arkham will have no idea what I've got up these sleeves. Well done, Lucius. You've been long overdue for an upgrade. This suit is beyond state of the art. This ends tonight. No. Be careful. Back. I'm all right. There's no one here. No Alfred. Damn it. There's some blood on the walls. Yeah, guys, I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Today is from Telltale. Episode 5 from last time. Moon sap like no lack of blood. It's too good. Need. Need. Alfred, there's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. 
Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. Alfred's blood is still fresh. Means we can't be far behind him. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Vales have a false wall in their basement? Now let's find out where the Vales were hiding. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. Ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. I'm going inside.
This is what he wanted me to find. To see. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates. Like they're running away. The words highlighted are, She will. And liberate. She will liberate. I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Call Gordon and the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Swain has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Swain's family. He's done nothing to you. He's not part of this. Of course he's a part of this. He's the one man Bruce Wayne might actually care about. Besides himself. His suffering will teach Wayne a lesson. One he and all of Gotham needs to learn. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Yeah, come on. Let me out.
See your work in person. Another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. You're doing so much for one old man. Deserved their day in court, just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. 
My justice is final and absolute. You shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wade is any better than Swamp? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward, leaving other men to carry his burdens. You are my enemy, Batman. Wade is. is a symbol. Some fear it, but for others it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. Getting you out of here. Above you! <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar. Alfred. <sighs> Such concern. For someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder. Do you really care? Only one way you find out. Batman, don't you... Shut up, old man! You've seen my true self. Your turn. To prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. If that's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks up for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true way. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. I can't change what happened in the past. I would have fought for you, Vicky. No one should have to suffer the way that you did. You don't know how I suffered. But you will. I'll show you what Thomas Wayne did to me. To my family. No more lies! No more time! 
talk. The only truth left is in your death. Last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. Selena. With everything that's been going on, I... I 
haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen, but experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is, and let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a fresh start. For you, and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne... ...is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. So, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well, Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. Batman will be in attendance. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. We're currently awaiting newly appointed acting police commissioner James Gordon, who will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon, yeah, it doesn't sound right. Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? It's an important day. Your first address to the city as acting commissioner. I wanted you to know that I stand with you. I want Gotham to know that there are those who will fight for them. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. The city's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. 
You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. Look, I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I stand behind you. You are the hero that Gotham needs, Commissioner. I hope I don't let them down. You won't. You know, I always wanted this. To be Commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this... I should probably be used to that by now. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. One of those citizens is Batman. He told me I was the hero the city needs. Well, I intend to live up to that. But I can't do it alone. I need all of you, too. Let Gotham be a city of heroes. United. Strong. And hopeful. ago, Acting Commissioner James Gordon delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. Batman made short work of the assassin. Oh boy, it's gonna be tough to stop that. But I'll give it a shot. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 